Hi, I'm Bramschild, and I played a bit more with Carl Clavier's modular force field system. Hello, guys. In the last week, I played around with Carl Clavier's MFFS mod a bit more because I used it for my oxygen system on the Technical Beast server. And I thought, what else can you do with the force field pack here? And because I need a big hole in this wall here, I tried the different modules you can use on this force field projector and found one that seemed to be very interesting and very useful for that. So let me tell you what system or setup I use here. This is the normal force field projector. We go into that in a second a bit more because I have some uh, modules in there and I want to show them to you. This is a force field or Fortran capacitor. It's like a battery for this uh, force field projector. It projects energy to the projector. It gets its energy from this Corsirian derivers. These produce 800 joules for the um, capacitor here. And yeah, again, this provides it to the force field projector. I am powering this with IC2 power at the moment. These are normal solar panels, you all know them. By the way, I'm using the Unleashed pack here, so um, you can use uh, MJ here too. And you also can use the electricity from Universal Electricity, but it is not in the pack, so I did not test that out. Um, yeah, this capacitor is loaded, fully loaded at the moment, and it is uh, able to provide 3.4.5 k joules, kilojoules, to the force field projector. I, this is achieved by using these speed modules here. In the force field projector, I have at the moment a cylinder module that yeah, brings the force field into a cylindrical shape. I have some rotation modules in here to point it into a direction, some scale modules. These um, tell the phosphate how big it should be and these translation modules translate it into a specific direction. This is a collection module. That's what I found out. You can use it with a dis in disintegration module and it collects the stuff that the disintegration module digs out and puts it into a chest next to the projector. This is a speed module again. It makes the force field build up faster. We need one more module to let the fun begin. That's the disintegration module. With the disintegration module, you can yeah, kind of dig into an area and together with the collection module, all the collected stuff gets put into the chest. I talked about that. Um, let's see what happens when I turn off the projector now. It starts to dig out the area here and it is fairly fast and all the stuff it digs out gets put into this chest. That's because of the collection module. It is not digging out the middle part here, but um, that normally should be easy to remove by using an invert module, but I have the feeling that it is not working at the moment. Let us test that. I'm putting an invert module into the module part here. I have to turn off the, uh, the force field projector. Let us, let us turn it on again. And here you can see it. I don't know if that's a bug, if that will get fixed. I hope at least, because now I have to manually remove that.
I removed the middle part and now you can see I dug a long tunnel through that mountain. And uh, yeah, that's easier than to do it with the pickaxe. Um, you can use the cube module, I think with that the invert module works fine. Okay, now I want to go into a bit of automatic building. The building part is a bit tricky because for some things you would have to use multiple projectors or you would have to use one projector but uh, always or after you finish one part have to reset it to do another part. I chose to do three projectors for now because <laughs> I can cheat here and have, have <laughs> unlimited energy and all that stuff. Okay, that's the yeah, form I want to build. <laughs> it's nothing special. I took a pyramid shape on the top a nice sphere in the middle and down here a cylinder. I have the projector set up again with scale modules and translation modules to get the fields into the right direction. Now I have to fill up these chests with the materials I want to use. You can see here is the sphere, here is the cylinder, and here is the pyramid, so I can use different materials for it. Give me a second to fill up the chests. I've filled the chests with different materials. I'm using cobblestone for the cylinder, glass for the sphere, and sandstone for the pyramid. The other thing I've done is I've put different modules again into this part here. I've put in a field stabilizer modu module that allows us to replace the force field with blocks and a speed module that makes the whole thing faster. Okay, I will turn on the projectors and let them run. I will do that one by one so that I don't use up all the energy that's in the capacitors. First start with a cylinder. You can see the blocks are getting placed and it's fairly, fairly fast. Nice, done already. Next thing, the sphere. <coughs> that is so awesome that you can build towers now or anything and you can get as big as you want. Kinda. It's a bit dependent on the energy. Man. Done. And the pyramid. This thing will take a bit, I think. Huh? But you can see how it, yeah, how it gets done there. I think doing that by hand, you can't really be faster. And done. Okay guys, now I showed you how to auto build with that. I hope you like this uh, small little intermezzo. I thought I would do a video about it and show this stuff to you. Maybe you can do some stuff with it. And I would like to see maybe yeah, stuff you can do with the MFFS force fields here. So I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, leave a like and uh, maybe a comment. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. See ya, guys.